here is the biggest mistake you are making about success. I'm Nicole Song, America's work-life balance coach and best-selling author of 24 Ways to Move More. So the biggest mistake you're making about success, and this is especially important for people pleasers and for perfectionists, is this. You are letting everyone else in the world define success for you. Now, this is how we grew up. You let people in school, you get grades. You have other people telling you if you're successful, you make the team, you don't make the team. So we grew up in a society where a lot of the markers of success are set by other people. And when you become an adult, that can be the tendency. You let your boss set the marker for success. You let your parents still tell you whether you've chosen a successful career. You let your friends and your family say whether this is good or this is bad. And so it can be very easy to get sucked into a continued paradigm where you're constantly letting other people define success for you. And the most important thing for you to start to do is to learn to define success for yourself. How do you do that? You get to actually choose what success is for yourself today. So you could say, oh, hey, I went for a walk today at lunch. That was like a super successful day for me. Or, hey, you know what? I got more than eight hours of sleep. You can do it, I promise. And that is a su super successful day for me today. I you know, spent time listening to music and that always makes me feel so good in my body. And that makes me feel really successful today. Or, hey, I got to the gym today. And that really is a marker of success. When you start to actually celebrate the things that you're doing well, and you start to say, okay, this is my definition of success. This makes me feel like a solid contributing human on the planet. That is actually going to start now compounding the feeling of success in your life. And when you can really start to hand off to other people, like they just get to define success for themselves. You also are not the arbiter of other people's success. You are the arbiter of your own success. This is how you start to have it compound and you start to feel it expand. And you're like, oh, and you're still to feel so much more successful in your own life. And then that leads us to feeling so much more joy and happiness and really being able to now in this place, start to say, okay, now that I really know that I'm succeeding in the life that I've got right now, this will lead me to knowing what my purpose is, to knowing why I'm here on the planet. And I know I can succeed at that as well. You're really building that mental resilience for success that's actually going to open you up to really having a much more much more capacity for purpose and to actually know what your purpose is and to uncover your own gift and your own genius. And then when you're in that pathway, oh, now you start to expand and things are to blow up. So if you're ready for this, pop a yes below and say, yes, I am ready to, to define my own success. Share below what you can say is success for you from today, from the day that you're watching this to really know that for yourself. And then if this resonates with you, hit like, hit subscribe, let me know, because these are the things that we really start to get to define for ourselves. And every time a human does that, defines your own success, the world gets bigger and happier together. So let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all soon.